Hi Pisces and welcome back to Karma Life Readings. I'm Karma. I hope that you guys are all doing well and if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for uh, clicking on this video. I appreciate it. If at any time you do resonate, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. It will also help for future readings. This is timeless. So I do trust that when you come to it, there will be a message in here for you. Uh, so like I said, if you do resonate, hit that like button. Um, mum, 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 any information, questions you have about me, description box, there is a link to my website below. Let's go ahead and get started with my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you today. Father God, divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Pisces in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide Pisces with clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher wisdom and knowledge into what karmic cycle soul lessons and generational curses. Pisces may currently be facing, about to face, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So Pisces, I'm getting this energy and I keep hearing fish out of water. Like you feel like a fish out of water or something recently happened. Like you just don't feel like you're in your natural environment. You feel like a fish out of water. For some of you that could be very suffocating. Your life is always a result of your thoughts about it, including your obviously creative thought that you seldom get what you choose. All right, so you are co-creating this experience with God and you do it through your mind and your words and then your intention and your action. And um, it just feels as though Okay, well, Spirit wants me to give you this card on the bottom as well. Thought is pure energy. Every thought you have, have ever had, and ever will have is creative. The energy of your thought never dies. Ever. It leaves your being and it heads out into the universe, extending forever. A thought is forever. And this is why it is so incredibly important to make sure that you are aligned and walking with the most high. Because one thought can create a ripple effect that you aren't even aware of or expecting. And so it's, it's important to get right with God and to return to him so that you can repent and repair all that you've already created against your own self that you're unaware of or others, right? Messages, please. Balance and rejection. Balance and rejection. Underneath that, you have illumination and isolation and faith on the top. Oh boy, we all seem to be going through some massive um, undertaking with the divine where he's really trying to uh, prune us, right? He's really trying to prune us here. So let's, let's see this. We have balance and rejection. I feel as though this just goes into what we were just saying. You have to now create some type of counter productive energy, counteractive energy to the negativity that's already out and around you. Does that make sense to you? It's like, that's why spiritual protection is so important. That's why understanding where your thoughts come from is so important because you're needing to now bring balance to what is 
seemingly preventing you from getting to your destination of where you're trying to go. It's a thought. It's just a thought. Clear it out. Align it. Align it with the false time. That's why we always say, you always hear that saying about remain open, be open to change, be open to changing your perception because belief systems are dangerous. And in essence, they are because it can get you stuck in something that, that isn't meant for you. You have your energy coming out, the hanged man as the current energy of a situation. You have the page of swords as the past energy. You have the moon, Pisces energy, as yourself. You have the queen of pentacles as the outside energy. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Your challenge is the knight of pentacles. And then you have the four of swords as the outcome. On the bottom, you have the four of coins. The Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, Coins, Three of Wands, and the Hermit Virgo Energy. In a nutshell, it looks like you're struggling with expansion because of these thoughts of restriction and confusion. There's some type of conflict over a situation that has you in a lot of regret, remorse, and pain. Could be an ending, a separation. It's definitely a loss that you're really, really struggling with here. There's a loss that you're struggling with and so you're closing yourself off. And spirit is telling you, please don't close yourself off. I have something for you. But I, I feel like you're trying to find, you want to find what it is spirit has for you right now instead of doing the process and taking the journey, which I understand that that's not a, a negative judgment. That's just a message that I'm seeing. Um, and I understand that. I do. But what spirit is saying is y you have to find you have to find acceptance and peace in the rejection. That's why you have balance and rejection. And that's why your outcome is the four of swords. It's almost like spirits like, well, nothing is going to change until you accept where I have you. Okay. Um, you have the hanged man as the current energy. So you may feel like everything is paused and your whole world has been flipped upside down. Right. And you're not quite sure in which direction to go and where is this going to take me? Clarify the hanged man. You have the queen of cups. Temperance. The lovers and the four of cups. This is really deep, Pisces. Um, I feel like you're trying to find, again, you just want the answer before you go through the journey. And I and I am just the messenger, but spirit is like, I can only give it to you step by step. I can only give it to you one step at a time because there is a major transformation that needs to take place in regards to a love connection that you are trying to put all the puzzle pieces together at once. Like you have all these pieces laid out in front of you and you just want to go like this and put them together and see the whole picture because you're trying to bring balance, peace, and understanding to something that has really rocked with your emotions here. And so you have this tendency, Pisces, you have this tendency where instead, if you're not getting what you want, 
you close off and 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 spirits like no 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 you can't close off because then you're going to close yourself off these thoughts are going to create more roadblocks for you in the future all right the past is the page of swords so there may have been some type of new information or it was new information and then also a lack of communication. Like somebody wasn't giving you what you needed in terms of the truth and communication. Yeah, the nine of swords. So it created a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and a lot of fear. Four of cups in reverse. Meditation in reverse. So there was no peace of mind with this information. This information that was coming to you, you were unable to have a peace of mind. I feel like it also made you struggle with trusting in the divine some of you like wanted to throw away your gift some of you are very very gifted and whatever you were receiving it was so it was too much for you some of you are are in the in the space of recognizing how much a spiritual gift can be a blessing and a curse at the same time and that's just the name of the game it's the name of the game and so you're trying to find balance in that reality okay um because you definitely 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 have a gift of being able to see beyond the veil. But you're struggling. This fear, this anxiety in the past over this new information, it's creating some type of uh, blockage. It's your, own, it's your thoughts, right? Because your thoughts create your reality. You're struggling with finding that peace, with finding that balance. Holy Spirit, please clarify the moon. For Pisces current energy. The Ten of Cups. Judgment. The Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. I should have just said what I was seeing before I pulled the cards out. Because this is really what it is. You feel deceived by spirit. Somebody here feels deceived or de like very disappointed in the way something turned out and in, in the judgment that was called on a situation because you have deception and star like this is not what you foresaw happening and so now there's some type of doubt that you have within yourself and within your gift we're not always going to see everything the people you know people have the ability to draw a veil down around us an illusion And you don't understand how something that was right in front of you could have been hidden. You're judging yourself over a decision that you made in the past. And it's bringing up a lot of really, really, really deep, deep, deep emotions. Really, really deep, deep, deep emotions. Okay. But again, balance and rejection sit in that peace because it looks like you've been like refusing to go into a state of meditation for fear of what you'll find but spirit is saying it's it's going to help you release something it's going to help you heal all right we have the queen of pentacles as the outside energy here nurturing energy grounding energy oh my goodness with the three of swords the two of cups. So this was a love connection and there is heartbreak here. There's heartbreak here. Because again, vision, three of wands, this isn't what you foresaw. And so you might be going through this, um, this phase cap Capricorn, sorry, but maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. Um, but Pisces, you might be going through this phase where you doubt your gift because you didn't foresee something happening. Sometimes, a lot of times, all of us are souls here learning. Even when we have spiritual gifts, even when we're psychic and clairvoyant and, and, and we meditate and we pray, we're still here learning a lesson, which means the Most High is still going to keep some things hidden from you. Not to punish you, but to help you grow even further, even more on your journey. And I feel like that's kind of what you're going through right now. But you're getting lost in the thought of like, you know, I don't trust this anymore because I didn't see this coming. And now there's so much pain. There's so much sorrow. 
Why didn't I see this coming? You, you understand what I'm saying? And spirit is, is saying, but this is, this is happening to you, this heartbreak, this pain. It's your lesson. This is your life lesson. There's something you're going to learn about yourself spiritually here. Yes, the vision may have changed. Maybe this isn't what you saw. There's so much disappointment here, but this is going to teach you something very, very valuable. Resilience, competition, power. Those are the cards underneath. Your challenge is the Knight of Coins. There's an opportunity here that is presenting itself to you, but you're having a hard time with it because again, it seems to be taking longer than you thought to come into fruition. Two of Wands. You feel like something is done and over. Like you have been planning for something for so long. You had such a strong vision on exactly what it was and how it could go. And then it didn't, it didn't happen or you feel like it didn't happen. But what spirit is trying to tell you is because you have the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups, your struggle and challenges, believing and recognizing that it happened and was fulfilled the way it was supposed to happen and be fulfilled. It's right there. And you're struggling with that. You're again, going back to the judgment and again with justice, you're struggling with that being the final judgment. And Spirit is saying, just accept it because your happiness is lying right there under that acceptance. That's where it is. That's where the growth will happen. That's where the understanding will take place. Your outcome is the Four of Swords. Rest, meditation, and healing over this Three of Swords has to take place. So there's a separation and an ending here. The Emperor... The Ten of Wands and the King of Wands, Ten of Swords. Something is done and over. A cycle has ended and then you have strength. Just like I said, this is going to, it's going to transform you. The Emperor and the uh, Ten of Wands and then you have the Ten of Swords on the bottom. You're taking these swords and you're turning the pain into power. This Emperor is stepping in. You're embodying the Emperor, the King of Wands. You're starting to take action and leadership over certain, um, like a way of life, your thoughts, your your words, your actions, because you're going to accept that this vision was fulfilled the way that it was supposed to be fulfilled. And now if you don't shift this thought process and bring in the most high, you're going to stay in this energy of rejection and loss. And, and I know that's not what you want. And so the answers that you're seeking for, it isn't about putting the whole puzzle piece together just like this. The answers that you're seeking for is your ability to still take charge, transform this darkness, this negativity, the low vibrational energy, accept it for what it is, illuminate, illumination, illuminate the rejection for what? To bring in your abundance. All right. And then you have abundance on the bottom of this too. Clarify, please. Four of Swords, the Emperor, Ten of Wands, and the King of Wands, please, for Pisces. What is this in regards to? The Chaser and Photograph. Don't chase after the past. Learn from the past mistakes and release yourself from this rejection. You have Mirror and Healing Heart. So relationships reflect our wounds and then you're healing yourself. And I know I only gave you two, but this one ties into it too. And I'm going to read it to you for a closing message, Pisces. It says, every human thought and every human action is based in either love or fear. There is no other human motivation. And all other ideas are but derivatives of these two, love or fear. They are simply different versions, different twists on the exact same theme. All right, Pisces, I'm sending you guys much love.